great to be here and I want to talk about uh, digitizing genius or that was uh, the, the actually the, the phrase, uh, the motto that Matthias uh, invented for, for talking about what we do or especially what we do uh, with the uh, digital Mozart uh, edition and when it comes to bringing his music uh, online. Um, but perhaps first let me introduce myself. I'm the general manager of uh, the Mozarteum Foundation. Uh, the Mozarteum Foundation is more or less the, the mother institution of all Mozarteums here in Salzburg. We have the foundation and we have the university uh, Mozarteum. Uh, you've, you've heard Elisabeth Gutja this morning. And obviously we have also here in Salzburg the Mozarteum Orchestra, which is all more or less from the same uh, roots uh, and, and, and uh, the same uh, um, momentum, uh, but more or less the, the Mozarteum Foundation is, is, let's say, the mother of all these. And I want to show you some things of what we do or what we think about uh, if it comes to digitizing a Mozart and, um, uh, or all these contents. And um, I've tried to walk through with you to, to through a, a lot of things and hope that we have some, some time for questions uh, afterwards. Um, the first thing I would like to show you is some, some, some small slides. Uh, I hope this is now online uh, about uh, uh, <clears throat> where we are or what, what, we, what I want to show you. Um, digitizing genius. Uh, it's genius in this specific, specific uh, moment is, is obviously uh, Wolfgang Amade Mozart. And um, as you know, um, or you can't digitize genius. Genius is magic and magic isn't uh, digitizable or it's just what is always the inexplic inexplicable and um, there is an end of, of bringing genius into into the digital world. Um, when I when I started thinking about what to, to tell about or what to talk about today, I, I just made this small small uh, chart and I said, okay, first of all, I have to talk about Mozart, and I have to talk about us, the International uh, Stiftung Mozarteum e ESM, and then we have to go down into one part of our digital uh, things or what, what, what we think we, we would love to, how we would love to bring Mozart into the digital world. And digital for us is really the world, it's, it's, it's out, of, out of Salzburg. Um, we are fostering the heritage of uh, the whole family of, of Mozart since 1841. This is really one of the oldest institutions uh, uh, in, in cultural terms uh, um, um, here in, in Austria and um, basically was more or less founded or, or, or invented also by the family of Mozart by Constanze and, and the sons of Mozart. Um, Mozart had two sons uh, and both of them, they had no children. So the whole heritage of the family, uh, they decided to give it to give it to, to Salzburg and to the Salzburg people. And they founded 1841, more or less this institution where we are still. Uh, and that's the reason why we have uh, uh, more or less his whole uh, heritage, every uh, memorabilia um, for Mozart. And that's for us one, one main point, if, if it comes to uh, the question what we are doing today, uh, I often give the answer, uh, which is a bit ridiculous, but more or less might be sort of true. Uh, we are the managers of Mozart. It's basically the same what, what you would do with a with an, uh, current artist, uh, what you would do uh, with a normal management of a musician. Uh, we, we, do the, we, we do the state the same still today. And um, one of the main things for us, therefore, is digitalization. Um, it's our job to make him accessible to all people and generations. That what we, uh, that's what we're trying to do, to bring him and his life and his genius and the whole fascination of Mozart to the people. And um, still, not only to foster the heritage, still uh, the second part is always to bridge uh, between tradition and contemporary culture. So for us, it's really uh, one, one, 
it's vital for us to to bring um, this whole heritage and this genius into the um, digital world um, because of uh, it's not only a Salzburg uh, treasure, it's not only an Austrian treasure, it's the treasure of everyone and it, it speaks to everyone, may it be a Chinese uh, audience, may it be a Brazilian audience, Mozart seems to really touch the whole world and, and uh, is not only uh, a Salzburg uh, or just our treasure, it's for everyone and therefore we have to go into uh, the digital world. So what we basically have is these three things. We own uh, two museums, the, the birthplace, uh, everyone might, might know. Uh, there's another museum which is called Residence. Uh, we have a lot of things, a lot of memorabilia of his, his family. Here you can see his piano. We own the, the original piano from, from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And there, or on the on the left side, you see his violin. We also now uh, own his concert violin from from Vienna. And there, you 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 see one one aspect of of what what we really aim for is to be authentic. We really try to keep as authentic and as professional uh, uh, about Mozart content as we can. And there it comes obviously also to an, to, to an end, because I cannot bring the authentic piano, the authentic violin digital. I cannot make it uh, uh, digitally available. It's just the aura and the, the momentum you can experience when you, when you see it or even when you hear it live, but you are not really able to, to make it digital or to bring the aura um, uh, into the internet. Then obviously we have one of the, the most uh, uh, or the best concert halls in Austria or even in Europe. We do a lot of concerts uh, uh, around Mozart. We, 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 we celebrate the Mozart week, Mozart Woche, every year around the birthday of Mozart. And finally, we, we really try to uh, foster the, really the music and the heritage in terms of research. So um, this is really one of the most exciting parts when it comes to, to, to Mozart content, or when it really comes to, to breaking down into, to, to dive down into his world. Um, <clears throat> and there we are uh, into, in, in, with the question of digitalization. Um, you might be able to, to stream a concert, you might be able to, uh, uh, hear his music in, in really wonderful ways uh, uh, around the globe um, via digital uh, media. Um, but it comes to the next question, if you go to the museums, this is what we, what we did now in uh, the last weeks, we digitalized, digitalized uh, the museum. This is obviously a virtual uh, entrance to the birthplace. <clears throat> you can go inside this museum and Last but not least, and for us, one of the oldest projects we did uh, was the uh, scores, was the music itself, uh, was the, the world of uh, really his music. And not in terms of making music, but making it available, making it, giving it away for the people to, to play it. And that's really, an, really, really a wonderful and one of the, the largest projects the foundation did in the last hundred years. It's called Neue Mozart Ausgabe. And that's what you basically see here. This is obviously a book. This is a score. And this is not, not a score. This is the Bible uh, for every musician when it comes to Mozart. This is every score, every number out of the Köchel uh, catalog. Uh, in the best way, uh, in the modern, in the best edition you can get uh, in a whole volume together, um, uh, printed uh, together with the uh, Bärenreiter Verlag. Uh, and it was made, or it began this project in the 50s. And what we did since uh, 2006, so at least, uh, uh, or nearly 15 years, uh, uh, we, we did it, 
is to digitalize these uh, scores. So um, in 2006 or since then, we have a wonderful partner who is uh, joining us in this project and helping us. And without uh, him, it wouldn't be possible. It's uh, David Packard from Los Altos uh, and the Packard Humanities Institute. And together with, uh, with him, we uh, are able to, to really digitalize uh, these neue Mozart-Ausgabe. I have it here. This is uh, the, um, the book, and this is only the volume 16. Uh, and I don't know what is inside, but it's, it's, it's just, it's Mozart music. And you can buy it, and it's, it's really wonderful. But what we did since uh, 2006 is to bring these uh, uh, music, these scores uh, online. And I will try to, to show it to you because this is still wonderful, but for us still the, the, the more or less an old old fashioned way. Um, uh, it's part, of, here we are at the digital Mozart uh, edition already. Here's, here we are at the uh, Neue Mozart Ausgabe. You can access the NMA online. Um, I'm online now. This is not a not a show. This is really I'm I'm. This is my browser, and I'm I'm just uh, on <coughs> uh, going live now into the, the the world of the Neue Mozart Ausgabe. I don't know. I I've I've looked for one piece today, uh, which is uh, Köchelverzeichnis Köchelkatalog 465, which is um, uh, one of the most famous uh, string quartets. And if you search for it, and if you click on it, then you get to, to the Neue Mozart Ausgabe, you get to the whole uh, uh, score of it, and you can download it, print it, and, and uh, play it. Uh, and it's free for, for educational and private use. And, and again, we do this since uh, 2006, and we bring every score, every, every note Mozart composed online via this way uh, since years now, since really years. And again, for us, it's, it's, it's uh, one of the most important things is to bring it in the best quality you can have. It's not an old uh, uh, fashioned and, and uh, uh, edition or full of, uh, I don't know, um, misprints. It is, we have the aim to bring the best, best, best possible score online. So, but this is the old way uh, of, of uh, doing it um, because this is still uh, a picture or still um, uh, uh, just a PDF and you, this is um, there's no rocket science uh, behind it to bring uh, PDFs um, online. There's a sort of rocket science behind it in terms of edition and in terms of really bringing the last and best version and the the last ideas out of the research, but uh, to bring uh, a PDF online isn't that that much uh, dif difficult. What we did um, since then, since 2006, and again with uh, with the wonderful help of, of David Packard, is um, we tried to find a new way of um, um, bringing it online, which is the digital interactive Mozart edition. So we tried, or we, not we tried, we, we managed to invent and to, to build up a totally new way of bringing uh, scores online and to bring uh, really the source code, the source code of music online. Because in the end, what you see with a uh, score or with a note or with a normal score, you get the PDF uh, or in the terms of, of our, what we all know, the, 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 if you write a uh, text, you, you write it in Word and then you bring it out as a PDF. Um, what we now try to bring, bring online is to bring really the Word uh, document online in, in paraphrase. So it's not a word, it's really, it's code what we bring online, it's source code. And we try to bring it out in an open, durable, and storable format, uh, um, which is really rocket science. Um, and I try to just show it to you because uh, you have to experience uh, it. 
uh, to really see what, what, what I mean. I'm, I'm going again or going back into the browser and um, still the, the new Neue uh, Mozart Ausgabe, I'm, I'm jumping to the digital Mozart edition. And this is um, the same piece, the same quartet, uh, uh, one of the height of and, and the, really the, the mountains of um, chamber music, uh, one of the most impressive pieces for, for, for string quartet ever. And as you see, it's, it's already in a, in a new form. Uh, and this MoVi, we call it the Mozart Score Viewer, is a uh, interface for, for showing this source code uh, uh, behind it. But you could use any other interface which is able to, uh, to read uh, MEI, which is the code behind it. MEI is uh, for me, I'm not a technician. Uh, for me, it's, it's just, it's, it looks like it's a bit of XML and perhaps XML is better known or you know what I mean with it. Um, so what is it? Basically, it's, it's the same piece and uh, you can um, 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 look at it. But the first thing you see is that it's, it's, it, it, you have no page breaks uh, behind it or line breaks and you can zoom in and zoom out so you can really uh, change the, the view uh, on the notes and, uh, and, and it will change in the, uh, in the way it is displayed. Um, and that's the first thing you lose is these page breaks or, or on the other hand, if you go and uh, to the original line breaks, um, you can uh, see how it, it was made uh, before. Um, but it, you can really Generate it like like you you want to want to know it or want to see it. Um, obviously, you can still compare it with the NMA with the with the score we we, we saw uh, before directly uh, in, in in the uh, in the comparison. But <clears throat> there's a lot of more more things to to uh, to see in the digital Mozart edition uh, and the and this way of the interactive. Um, Mozart score viewer. Um, the first thing, obviously, is is uh, if you click on the dashboard, you can uh, listen to it, which is not rocket science. There's a lot of tools and things around it where you can listen to it. We can select the recording. I don't know, uh, just the first one. And I hope you can hear it uh, in in the moment when I when I play it. Do you hear it, Julia? Yeah. This is so 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 ingenious because Mozart composed an introduction. What we are hearing now is an introduction to the uh, quartet, which is so full of dissonance, which is really unuseful and, and, and ingenious. It's darkness uh, and, and, and fear what you hear. And obviously, as you see where we are at the moment, the, the, the bars where we are uh, is highlighted. You can click to the original line breaks and we can see it also. How it goes with the with the sound, so the original line breaks. Yes, yes. with the sound would be interesting. I will I will do it afterwards because we just jumped to the to the end of the introduction. Okay. This is the introduction. And now we are, we are at the end, and now the light, the enlightenment, will come, uh, and everyone will hear there is C major light for everyone. So this is Mozart, and this is uh, the, 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 really the, um, wow, uh, still it, it gets me every, every time I hear it. Um, um, 
so but this is again this is nothing um which isn't uh don't know this is nothing really wonderful or you can see it everywhere and this is again this is not our our world and we are not there here for for inventing new forms of uh, audio displays and, and and so on what we try to do is more or less to give it away and to show what what we are what what you are able to do and um, the first thing which is a which you are able to do now is to select staves you can go and just combine two uh, staves and two voices and you get a new way of um, uh, the of the uh, score so here we have the first violin and the and the, and the cello and uh, you can see what is happening and again you can uh, play it uh, I, I take the MIDI version and you can see what is happening Um, and obviously, you can also just select only one stave, uh, the, the uh, violin cello uh, version. You can print it out. Uh, you can uh, do whatever you, you want to do with it. And um, maybe this is also not uh, really rocket science. But for us, what is the rocket science behind it is what I show you the next uh, is that you obviously you can download the score what you see now but you can also download the code um, <clears throat> and that's what we're getting now um, this is the file behind the first uh, sentence the first uh, uh, phrase of uh, this this ingenious uh, string quartet and you see what it is it's digital code. There is no score, no note, nothing. This is just code. And that's the rocket science. And you can download it and it's free for everyone uh, for, for educational and, and personal use. And you can play with it now. You can, everyone can um, invent new applications, invent uh, uh, new things on it. Uh, it's not our business to to now, uh, I don't know, make an application where you can change everything. It's not our business to 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 work on it, but we it's our business to bring the best possible code uh, to the world. And this is the crazy thing, um, because obviously, if you get this code now, you could say, okay, this this. Uh, um, wonderful quartet is in C major. I want to play it in F major, and I want to transpose it. And it's 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 just a, a small a small step of programming to transpose the whole piece uh, and to to bring out and to to play with this code um, <clears throat> and so on. This is really this is for us the the rocket science, and this is the point where we come to really. Uh, a uh, new dimension of um, um, score printing. Uh, what we have till now, or what we what we see since uh, 500 years now, is like the the printing of books or the printing of uh, uh, yeah the, the analog way is is the same in score printing. Um, it's basically still the same, um, and this is really let's say, a revolution, uh, really, in terms of, of, of bringing data and scores uh, 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 into the next way. Um, I just want to um, stress out that there is obviously um, a lot of possibilities with that. Um, you can connect or, or, or apply apps and, and programs. You can um, work on it, really uh, um, work with it. And for us, um, it's the, the, the entrance uh, into computational musicology. Uh, if you think of, of all these scores, of the whole work of, of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart in, uh, in a digital way, then you have big data. And then you can really analyze and think of Mozart in a, 
in a totally new way. You can work with this cube of data and, and just find out I don't know, where he uses uh, B minor keys uh, and or where he uses uh, the parallels in, in, in fifth uh, and where not. And you can really work with the with the data you get from 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 the whole whole uh, of of Mozart, and um, as we have not much time, uh, I will just show you that there there is um, not only um, it's like the big, it's like a brand um, kind of thing. Again, there was a <laughs> yeah, it's you something. I just want to show you that there is obviously we 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 are right at the moment uh, with the Kekel, uh catalog numbers, but uh, if you go to one of the largest pieces he wrote, uh, I just wanted to show you that this is not only able or we're not all, only able to do it with uh, quartets. Now I'm showing you the one of the masterpieces of all time, uh, the Jupiter Symphony, um, it, which is a lot of material, so it's it's loading a, a little bit. But it's it's a it's a whole uh, uh, score from a from a symphony, and um, um, I'm just making it down um, to to see it a little bit little bit more. But you see, this is a whole really a whole orchestra here, and it's uh, no problem to um, to see it again. I just everyone knows it. I think. Um, <laughs> Um, this is again uh, able to to um, to download it and to really uh, see the whole Jupiter Symphony as uh, code. What you hear, what you're seeing here, is now because it's 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 growing up. Is all the metadata? It's full of metadata which we are loading up uh, with with the whole uh, score about the the origin, about the sources, and where it came from. And there's lots and lots of things we can do as the editors uh, for uh, really bringing these uh, music and these contents uh, into the digital, digital era. Still loading, it's a <laughs> bunch of, of, of code. Um, I'm, okay, I will try to stop it here. Um, for us, it's really one of the, the most important parts of what the foundation is doing is really to bring these uh, things into the online era. Um, I think what we did here uh, in the terms of the digital Mozart edition, it's, it's, really, it's really new. We, we, we launched it uh, half a year ago and it's growing every week. We fill it or uh, we try to bring one piece after another into this uh, version. Um, and for us, it's really a center or, or of, of what we're doing in, in the digital world. And there's lots of more to come if it comes to Mozart, because again, for us, uh, Mozart is not a Salzburg treasure. Uh, it's a world treasure and we have to, to bring it to the world and there's no better place or what better way to bring him in this ingenious uh, um, spirit uh, than uh, in the digital way. So, Basically, Thank you very much. I don't want to interrupt you, no, no. <laughs> but I think we can steal us one minute from the next panel for one question or for some questions, if there are some questions. I have one question, actually. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of questions, but <laughs> I will ask one. <laughs> um, according to the time we have now, the, the crisis and everything, you have more people who wants to have this course online or asking for having this course or some notes? Yes, of course. We see obviously uh, via analytics the the, 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 the the traffic on the uh, on the pages, and we see the the, the need for 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 music and um, all the musicians. Um, and when they know it, uh, they they really they they know that they get the best quality of music and the best quality of the scores he, here in the Neue Mozart Ausgabe or even in the in this digital way. So yes, of course, there is more more need for that at the moment. And do I have to 
to have an account on no, the, no it's only totally free just to download just you can it's 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 uh, the website is dme.mutateum.at as a digital motet edition dot you can fantastic everything is free <laughs> it's really free and it's it that's our our business or oh, no there's no business that's our job to to bring mozart to, to everybody yes. <laughs> thank you so much for this amazing talk thank you julia for your